and welcome back guys so we're gonna go ahead play some Fallout New Vegas and we're gonna start doing some main questing so I figured you know after that dead money DLC that we go ahead and start doing some main questing afterwards and then mix it up with some side questing or exploring some side locations but I figured getting the main questing going was a good idea so hope everyone enjoys the gameplay make sure to hit the like button make sure to subscribe button and let's play some Fallout New Vegas Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business... What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. That broad everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or are you just thick-skulled? Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night. Knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere it's more private like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. It can't work like that, baby. Not out in public like this. You really need me to spell that out? To start, I'll comp you the presidential, best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Where's my manners? Here's some cash up front. There'll be more where that came from. Wait for me in the presidential suite. We got a future together, you and me. It's time we got started.
little meet and greet of ours, chalk me up as a no-show. It would be 41 flavors of stupid to let you get a drop on me. And you've caused plenty enough trouble as is. You forced my hand. Hell, I gotta skip town because of you. A real pain in the caboose. Lifelong learner is you, eh? Then make your questions count, because your lifelong is running life short. All this is just work ethic run wild? That's your line? I don't know. Can you get it through your thick skull to leave me and the chip alone? If bullets can't get through, what hope is there? That temper of yours. Do me a favor and stay dead this time. Over here!
To meet you. What can I do for you? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Sure, he came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. Sure, Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network, the Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Oh, he wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then I just do what Betty tells me. Easy peasy! I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Again. Goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan.
It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. I knew she was carrying the platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for her. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 pounds hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip? Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk? How about... I knew all that. <laughs> I know that's not true. <laughs> that's not... I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad. No kidding, he was running fast. He better pace himself. He had... Did I just say exploiting? I'd take it straight to Mr. House if I were you. He'll think you're helping him out. Then, when he's not looking, kerpow! The big question is whether to give him the chip before you do him in. He's the one who'll know exactly what to do with it after all. He might upgrade his defensive capabilities right away, or even unlock new ones. But then those defensive upgrades might make it harder for you to finish him off. Hard to say. It's up to you. Let me know when it's done and I'll roll over to the Lucky 38. If I'm right about the chip, I should be able to install myself on House's mainframe. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna help you accomplish so much, whether I want to or not. Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too, like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Right! It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non stand Neat. Ring a ding, baby.
The eyes of the mighty Kaisa are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the Strip and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. I am the greatest of Kaisar's frumentari. It was not a challenge to find you. Nor is this my first visit to the Strip. Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Kursor Lukulus will be waiting. So we've got two options. You can go in there, act like everything's cool, and you're gonna do nothing and completely comply with what they say over there, or you can go in there and completely wipe it clean. I have no idea what I'm gonna do as soon as I get over there. I do know there's some stuff over here I want to get into, so let's just kind of see what happens. Please. Legion caught me. Said this was the penalty for drug... Please. Please. 
For the love of God, let me down. No. Degenerates like you belong on the cross. Move along. I see you bear the mark of Caesar. Cursor Lucas awaits you at the docks. Are you ready to head up river? The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. Alcohol and all chems, including stims and other addictive items. I know not why Kaisar would wish to speak with such a physically inferior whelp, but I will allow this one exception. You may bear Kaisar's mark, but do not attempt to share any of your medicine with anyone in the fort. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. Anyways, this looks like a good place to stop and start up another video. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button, and I'll see you again soon.